Hello everyone, this is Alejandra Gomez with creatingwithdelly.com and today I just want to talk to you about, um, well, I want to show you um, three cars using the bundle called um, Pamper Pets, which is this one. And um, I love it because it has the dogs and the cats and I think that this is perfect. Let me just close this. And so definitely, I really, really, really got excited with that one. It does have a coordinating design series paper, which is another thing that I love about this one because you can, um, you can see it here. I've been playing already a lot with this one, but there's different dogs. Uh, let me just show you this one because I think there's like the smaller dogs and of course there's the larger dogs here, as you can see. So definitely love, love, love that one. And then there's also two sheets for the cats and I probably should have pulled them out beforehand so let me just show it here um, so you can see here there's the cats and there should be another one with cats here it is. and there's another one with cats so these are the cats and um, hello everyone thank you thank you for joining me I really um, love when Stampin' Up! gives me uh, lots of images because I feel like for car making I can actually cut those and um, pretty much be done on my car, so I'm not kidding you. I feel like that just makes it really easy. Let me just show the other one with the dogs. <clears throat> so, and I got very excited because I actually had a little Jorky, and so definitely this reminder me of her. Um, so definitely got excited with this paper. So, anyway. So this is the suite that we're gonna be using. Now, <clears throat> a few things I wanna talk to you before we start. So, first things uh, first. So, we have a, and I'll, and I'll be sending more information this on my email. So if you are not part of my mailing list, make sure you click on the link uh, above on the description so that you can be on my mailing list. But um, we have a, a new catalog, of course, as you all know. And with that, we have now a catalog party kickoff. Uh, actually, a part a catalog kickoff party, sorry. <clears throat> and so I just wanted to show you the not the project but the suits that we're going to be using so one of the suits that we're going to be using is this one which is the jar of flowers definitely one of my favorite ones i love all the flowers on this one and i think that you can do so many techniques um definitely love this one for like the blends i feel like that one is just perfect another one that we're going to be using just to get you all excited about that one it's the playing with patterns which is this one and this one, let me just show you that the, um, so this one uh, has this cute um, stamp set, but it also has all the different, um, all the, the alphabet. So this is, I think that this is really fun to play with and definitely I'm excited to see that one. And then another one that uh, it's gonna be, it's also the Artistry Blooms, which is this collection. And I just love, 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 love the colors on this one, definitely. There's also glimmer paper in this color, and there's, I mean, there's a lot of things that you can do with this one. So definitely, you, those are the suites that we're gonna be uh, providing make and takes. But in addition to that, there's also three extra classes, and I don't think I show you which are the, like the bonus. Of course, we're gonna be using the Forever Greenery, which you all know, this is one of my favorites. So this is the one that I am designing. So there's going to be four more projects with this one. Those are bonus classes. And so definitely these have to be there because I mean, I couldn't, I could not put it there. <laughs> the other one that is a bonus, let me just show you real quick, is um, this one, which is the Blossoms in Bloom. And I think that this die cut is just amazing. Um, I've been seeing so many samples with this one. You can see it here. Um, and then there's a stamp set and of course the coordinating dies, which definitely, I mean, it's just, it's just another great one. And then where is the last one? There's one more. Oh, and the many made. So this is another suite that we're going to be not suite, but a stamp set. So this is going to be part of the bundle. So you can see here, it's all the sentiments and it comes with, uh, the bundle comes with this, um, die which I think is kind of interesting how it looks like a mosaic. So I think it's going to be very interesting to see what we create with this class. Again, those are the bonus classes. So I really wanted to make sure you knew about that. 
um, because I've been sending emails and here and there, I, sometimes I get questions. So I want to make sure you see um, what the suites were and also what are the bonus that we are going to be also providing. So that event will have six classes. Each of them will have four different cards. So in total, you will have uh, 24 cards IDS. Out of there, 12 will be make and takes. The other 12 are more, um, it's just the PDF with instructions and uh, for you to, to have more IDS and, and to make more cards. So the other thing I wanna make sure you knew is that, um, so we have a promotion going on. And of course, this is with the, um, with buying the starter kit. So with the new catalog, I'm sure we all have a long list uh, in our wish list. And so definitely this is a great promotion right now. So as you know, you get $125 worth of products, but you only pay $99 plus tax. So you don't pay cheaping. So right there off the back, you get a lot of, um, you get a lot of savings right there. So just to give you an idea, I believe that if you were to put all these elements that they have here, this is about 118. Um, so if you add like an extra ribbon, then you go to the 125. If I were to, if you were to buy that 125 worth of products, so all of these, you'll pay about with the shipping and the taxes, you pay about 147, 43 dollars, I believe. If you if you buy these as a starter kit, you only pay 99 plus taxes, so it comes around 107 dollars. So definitely. A great deal you get a lot of products and you're paying weight less because you're not paying shipping so it has a good discount right there and but what the, the promotion it is right now is that on top of that 125 dollars then you also get uh, an extra bundle and that's for free so you get to choose between let me just show you real quick you get to choose uh, any bundle out of, um, I want to say that it's page 169 from your catalog. So you get to choose any bundle from this section or either either a stamp set with the punch or a stamp set with uh, dies. And the dies are in the 173. So it's this section. So any of these will be added for free. You pick whichever you like. So that's another way to put another item from your wish list. So definitely if you are liking too many things, I think this is the best thing ever <laughs> just because you get a lot of things and there's no really any uh, pressure from stamping up. So you can get this one just the one time for the discount and that's it. Don't do anything with it. Or you can uh, be uh, purchasing because once you get the starter kit, all your future purchases are at least 20% discount. So you can continue being your best customer. And um, yeah, it's like a shopper's discount. Or you can just get it for the great deal it is and that's it. So there's no pressure. And of course, you can make it a business if you choose to. But it's all, all on you. So it's really, it's just, it's just your decision. So definitely want to make sure you knew about that because this is going on during uh, June this year. So with that said, um, I'll be sending you some reminders about this because I don't want you to forget, uh, especially as we get closer to the end of June. I know that we all think about it and then we don't act on it and then the month ends and we're like, what happened with that promotion? So definitely um, be on my mailing list because I'll be uh, sending more information of that. Or if you have any questions, make sure you email me. I'll be more than happy to answer anything. But today we are here to be working on this one. So let me just bring my, and see, I always do this. Like I always, I promise you guys, I was prepared. Oh, here it is, like, and I'm always losing everything. So we're gonna start with this one. Um, with this suite, like I said, there was the design series paper. Of course, there's the stamp set and the die set. There's also these little trinkets. Let me just show you here, which are uh, really cute. So there's like a bone and a heart. Let me just see here. Yeah, there you go. So really cute. Now, the one thing I'm going to say is that uh, you all know that we discontinued the baker's twine. And I think that this just goes perfect with the white baker's twine. So anyway, <laughs> I just thought it was like, oh my goodness, we should have had that one. We still have the linen twine, so we can use that one. But I really thought that because of the colors, and I mean, it's red, blacks, um, it would go really great with the baker's twine. So mm, it is what it is at this point. <laughs> so 
Anyway, let me see. Let me see. Yeah. You have a little chizu, Teresa? Yeah, wow. Oh, those are really cute, too. So anyway, so thank you, thank you. So let's just get it started. Let's just... Um, one thing that I'm going to be pairing for this one, uh, for this set, is I'm going to be... I like the sentiments, but uh, right now I don't have someone that had lost a uh, pet. So I don't want to be using this one. And I thought this one didn't go real well with what I wanted. I wanted to send more like friendship cards with the little dogs because they're really happy. Like if you see there, they're like the dog is happy and the cat is happy. So I thought it would be really nice to say hi. And so I'm going to be pairing this one with the, what is this? Itty bitty, itty bitty greetings. And I want to be using this hey friend. I thought that it will go really well with the, with the images here. But, um, you can use those Im images. I really like this one, but again, I don't have right now. Someone have lost it. And I think I want to use those already for like friends. So definitely that's the reason I'm going with that one. So let's go with the card number one. And, um, all right. So, so here's what we have. So I have real red and this is, let me just bring my ruler. So this is eight and a half by five and a half. K cards. You have five for doggies. Aw. Yeah, I know. I love this set. That's what I'm like. This is perfect for all the pet lovers, right? I be I'll be honest, I am a dog person. So I love the dog. Um, the cats are okay, but yeah, my heart is with the dogs. <laughs> so anyway. So this one, uh so the design series paper is three and three quarters by five. And the Whisper White is um, three and seven eighths by five and one eighth. So it's just an eighth of an inch larger than the than the design series paper. So it's gonna go like so. And then this one is gonna be here. So you can see here. I feel like, yeah, I'm really close. Then I've also um, die cut the uh stitch so sweetly dies oh wow i didn't know that the that the stamps are already in back order hmm so anyway so we got that one out of the stitch this oh, what is what am i saying here the stitch so sweetly the sweetly oh my goodness it's so sweet the stitch shapes i think it is <laughs> oh my goodness i'm getting all my names wrong yeah, this is why I try not to really read all the comments because then I get off track. Yeah, let me just see. So it is a stitch so sweetly dies. Yeah, this is the one. So I'm like, what am I saying here? So, and this one is um, this, uh, I think is from the smallest to the largest, the third one. Um, and and so I already cut a design, uh, a piece of the sign series paper that will go and fit exactly there and so typically I just go here and I love having one of these rulers this is a quilters ruler and then I can see exactly how long it has to be so in this case it was um, two and seven eighths by um, one and three quarters and so this one is gonna go like so okay I think I want it like that and then I have another piece of design series paper, and this one is three, am I saying this right? Yeah, three and three quarters by one and a half. Now, I wanna put this one here, the way I was thinking, and I don't know yet, probably here. I'm gonna put this one here, right? And uh, you all know me, I don't have the cards with me. I always, this one is actually a sketch. I probably can show you the sketch later on. But this one, um, I have a Pinterest board and literally just go there, look for a sketch. And this was one of those. And so I want to put my sentiment here and I want to put a dog here and I want to stamp that one. So let's just go with that one. So we're going to be using, oh, I already put it here. I, I told you, I, I was prepared. <laughs> um, so we're going to go ahead and um, I'm using the memento. So we're going to be stamping with memento. Because I'm going to be coloring this with, um, um, what is this? With the blends. And so for this one, I'm going to be using the Smoky Slate. And I want his color to go with real red since it will go really nice with the card. 
Thank you so much for sharing. I really appreciate it. Um, so let's just go with that. And like I said, I have the smoke is light. Yeah, these two. And so we're going to go ahead and color his body. And, and this one is with the light. And again, you know me, I, I go with a first layer of really light um, color. I think I'm having issues with the internet. It said it was trying to reconnect. So hopefully it's not too bad. I'm just leaving the, um, what am I saying? The color without color. Now for the eyes, I am careful and I'm just going to do like this line. And then here, there you go. And then I'm going to bring the, and I'm going to be doing this section and this section. I feel like it's like a shadow right there. And then I'm going to be doing this section. And uh, I'm going to be doing this. Sorry, I think that I'm having issues with the internet. I don't know. You tell me. Am I freezing? Because I've. I'm getting some weird notifications here. So hopefully all is good. You never know with internet and Facebook. So <sighs> so hopefully all is good. So just let me know. All right. So once I have that, you see that I've done some shading right there. I'm going to go now with the lighter color and kind of blend everything. And for that, I'm going to be doing more of a circular motion. Just. Oh, guys, hopefully you're seeing, hopefully you can see. Really gross frustrating with you, really trying and with you. <laughs> and like I've said in the past, I tried to do my blending in the middle areas, not so much in the edges. So even I went to the edge this time, I'm doing the blending more towards the middle because I don't want anything to bleed. Now I'm going to be... Sorry for that. Um, yeah, I don't know. Seems like the internet is acting up. I'm really, really sorry. I'm going to be taking the black, the basic black. Yeah, the light black. And I'm going to be doing his nose. Now, for his nose, let me close this here. Um, for the nose, I'm actually just going to do this section and then leave uh, that little area in white. I felt like it looked kind of cute with that area in white. So hopefully you still can. Get the. I feel like it would need to be a little bit darker here. And again, you're, I'm just blending here. And again, try to do all your blending in the middle area rather than going too much into the edges. That way it doesn't bleed. Okay, so now that I have that, I'm going to go ahead and bring the real red. And I don't know if I want the, yeah, that one looks good. This is the dark real red. So I'm going to go ahead and color it. It's color. All right. And so you see it here. Hello, Donna. So what do you think, guys? It looks really cute, right? I really like this guy. And it looks so fun. So anyway, now you, I have the dice here, and so you can see these coordinates really nice. So you just go to your die cutting machine and cut it, 
And so I have one already cut here so that we can go faster here. So let me just put this one on this section. I'll use this one later. And so the way I was thinking was put this one somewhere here, actually here, and then have here the hay frame, right? I mean, yeah, dogs are the best friends, right? So, uh, I think, let's just go, let's start, um, let me take all these out, I feel like I have everything here. So let's just start gluing down everything. Oh, I never, I never uh, stamped the hay frame, so let's just use the basic, not the basic, the memento, so that it's black. We're going to be stamping here, and there you go. Well, I feel like it is too high, so let me try again. And put it more in the center. It's always challenging when you're trying to do this with the camera on your face. Oh, and I did exactly the same, so I'm just going to leave it like that. If anything, I can probably... Oh, you know what? I can probably cut it with the small cutter. You said it get a little bit tighter. Cause it just looks like it went all the way. Let's see if I can do this. Ugh. Oh yeah. Yeah. We can do that. All right, much better. Um, so now let's start gluing down everything so that we can see how we wanna put all these things. I'm gonna go ahead and leave the frame here. All right, and then we're gonna go ahead and do the same. We're gonna go ahead and put this one right here. Um, then let's glue down this one. And I'm putting this one right here. And then I'm gonna be, this is where I need to start seeing where so do I want to do a zigzag, I'm not a zigzag banner in here. I do know I want this one here. So that one has to go here. And then I'll put my hay frame. This one does need the little banner in for sure. Oh, that was not much better. And Yeah, yeah, okay. So I'm gonna leave it that way. I could probably do the banner end here. Or, yeah, let's do that. A little rubbing. Yeah, I feel like that one will be really nice. I'm gonna go ahead. Now, if we don't like that, hold on. Hold on before I do that, because then I will have more of that black showing up. You know what, I'm gonna leave it without. Because I, I don't wanna see that black here. I have already too much black, so I'm going to leave it like that. So, see, um, you just go with um, with your design, seriously. That's how I always do my cars. I really just go and see what I like. And I start putting things together, and if I like it, then I leave it that way. And if I don't, then I start changing things around. So, now this one is going to go this way. All right, we're gonna go ahead and put it like so. All right, I'm gonna be putting this one with dimensionals, definitely, right? Don't you think? 
Oh, I'm glad you're liking it. Thank you, Teresa. So we're gonna go ahead and I'm gonna be putting this one right here. And then we're gonna be putting this one right here too. And you know what, I'm gonna be doing another banner in here. It just feels weird when there's no. And I'm gonna go ahead and add. All right, so let's just go ahead and add, I'm just gonna add like this one. right here. Now I can add, let me just get here. I could add one of these, um, let me just take this real one here. I could take, let me just do one little bow and see if I like that. This is the satin ribbon, is that right? What is this? Double stitch set, yeah, double stitch satin ribbon. Oh my goodness, you're gonna love it, Judy. You are gonna love it. Um, the Forever Fern and this one. Ooh, ooh, I definitely like the bow. So the bow is staying. Um, yeah, when I got my my products, really, it was the Forever Fern and this one that got me the most excited. <laughs> I just, I really think that I always love whenever they have like a cartoonish type of um, set. So definitely. I fell for this one and I adore that the Sanchez paper, especially because of that little jorky. We lost our little jorky this December, so yeah, it really brought a lot of memories for us. Um, she was with us for 15 years, so definitely a long time with us, so we miss her. We still miss her. Uh, so here you go. So here's the car. What do you think, guys? Really nice, right? So let's go with car number two. And now car number two, we're gonna be using that little dog because again, it reminded me of my little Yorkie. And so definitely I thought we need to do one of those. Okay, so for this one, so that's car number one. So for this one, uh, what do we have here? I believe it's um, the same measurements for these. So this one is eight and a half by five and a half. We're gonna go ahead and, let me put this one aside. Um, fold it in half, use your bone folder. So I'm gonna go ahead and, just, there we go. Then uh, same as the other one, I believe this one is four by five. Let's just see, no, three and three quarters, sorry. Oh my goodness three and three quarters by five. And so this one should be three and seven. Yeah, three and seven eighths by five and one eighth. So we're gonna go ahead and glue this together already. Then I have a piece of this design series paper. And um, this one is one inch by, let's see, five and one eighth, because it's gonna go right there. It's a little bit longer. So I'm gonna go ahead and glue this one first. And so let's just show you what I was thinking on this one. So this one is gonna go like so. And I was thinking I'm putting this one more towards this end. And again, I'm gonna glue this one first so that I can cut that paper to the size. I have a piece of the um, crumb cake and this one is two by three and a half. So this one is gonna go like so we're gonna be stamping this one but just so you can see how i kind of thank my my cards and again i'm following a sketch um that i found on pinterest and i do have a pinterest board so if you're in pinterest i am creating with ali as well and i have a board that is all about the sketches and so definitely you can follow it and get lots of ideas and so you can see this one, this is the way I was thinking. So the sketch was calling for two rectangles. I changed that one for a square, um, just because I wanted to add the little jorky here. So there we go. So something like that. And then of course, we're gonna have the little sentiment here. Something like that I was thinking. I might need to change that one to that way. Yeah, and then cut it. And then we're gonna be stamping that. So that's how I kinda feel like this card will go. So. 
right? So let's just start putting things. Now this one is a square of two by two. Yep, two by two. And this is out of the um, the layering squares dies. So in real red. So anyway, so let's just go ahead and go ahead and glue this one first because I'll forget about these and then I'll be like trying to cut it and disconnecting. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and put it somewhere like so. And then we're gonna go ahead and cut this section. All right, we're gonna go ahead and glue this one down. Hello, Joanne. Thank you, thank you for joining me. So we're gonna go ahead and put it here. Hmm. And then we're gonna go ahead and This opens like so, so we're gonna go ahead and put it right here. Hello, Raylene. All right, so now let's go ahead and stamp. So I'm gonna bring just, um, let me see, I have a scratch paper here. Mm, this one's already used, so let me just get a new one here. Let's just do this uh, brand new. All right. So I'm gonna bring this one again. This is crumb cake, and we're gonna be putting crumb cake as well. And I thought to do the, I don't know how you call this. I think it's the food plate for the dogs. I don't know if it has a name. I don't know that word. <laughs> and we're gonna just go ahead and go random with those, you know? There you go and then I'm gonna be taking the little hearts and the same thing as with the other one we're just gonna be random so there you go I feel like it needs probably one more here there you go okay I'm just gonna leave it that way otherwise it's gonna get so really simple stamping right there. Um, then we're gonna go ahead, dog bowl. Oh, I love that, thank you. <laughs> yeah, I'm telling you, I don't have all those words. Okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and stamp this one. Let's see if I can center. Oh, I'm pretty much doing the same as with the other one, it's fine. Let's see, I'm gonna try again. I'm gonna move this one towards me. Much better. Oof. Oh, my goodness. Oh. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and punch this one out. The banner ends. Um, probably a little bit more. That right yeah i think that's fine i think it should be okay all right so now let's start oh what do you do with the little dog oh here i'm like what do i do with the little dog okay so let's start putting this so this one goes right here okay i put it right there i'm gonna center it there we go. All right, then we're gonna bring this one here. And glue this one here. Then we're gonna be putting this one right here. And 
And so on this one, it does have a direction, so just check that you have it on the right direction here. So I'm gonna go ahead and put it right there. <clears throat> then I'm gonna put this one right here. And this one is from the Tasteful uh, Labels, I think it is named, it is called. Hold on, let me show you which one I'm talking. It's from a different suite, yeah. So this one is the Tasteful Label, so it's this one. And I love that now we have more and more labels because yeah, it's really fun to add to add li these little shapes. This one, I don't know that you can see it, but it has um, like little dots, like stitch marks there as well. So all around, so definitely in a lighter colors, you can see it better. <clears throat> oh, actually when I was designing this card here, yeah, I think you can see it here. See how it looks? It's really awesome, right? It has those stitch marks around. So on a lighter color, you can see it. Uh, on a darker, you don't really, but it's still, well, if you're up close, you can. Uh, I'm going to put it right here. And then we're going to be popping up this little guy. Or girl, I think, because, you know, I had a little girl. And so I feel like this is my little Aiyuri. So there we go. We're going to put her here. And she look exactly that way, I'm telling you. And then we're going to be putting this one right here. Hey, friend. Um, we're going to do again the same thing. Well, I have these little ones that I already cut, so. Hi, Michelle. <laughs> well, I'm glad you're here. Glad, glad, glad. And so we're going to be putting it here. Alrighty. So, um, let's see. Do I want to add another bow in that area? We'll see. So, for bows... Hmm. Oh yeah, that definitely looks really nice. So again, this is the double stitch satin ribbon. I'm just gonna make it a little bit smaller. There we go. So that if it's better. There we go, much better. There you go. Yep. Like that one. <clears throat> and we're going to go ahead and use a glue that there. And put it right here. And there you have it. So that's card number two. And you can see it's really easy. You can see card number one. There you go. Love, love, love the colors. <laughs> and I love really that uh, stamp background. So, um, all right. So let's do uh, number three three the number the card number three now this one is gonna be is gonna be for the cat lovers like i said i am biased i love dogs <laughs> nothing against cats but yeah i am a dog person so and um so yeah there were two dogs and then one cat <laughs> um and it's funny because when i was starting designing it i actually had all three with dogs and i'm like okay this is gonna be an issue <laughs> Let's have a cat. So, all right. So this one is again real red. Um, this is eight and a half by five and a half. And um, oh, you had a question, Sharon. Sorry. Oh, okay. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. So this is eight and a half by five and a half, folding in half. Then I have a, a basic black in this case. And this one is um, three and, what is this? Three and seven eighths by five and one eighth. Yep. So this one is going to go right here. Then this one is um, two and three quarters by five and by five. Yep, it's only five. So it's going to have a nice border, small border. And then this one I was uh, was thinking about uh, putting this one around, right? So that's something there. And then put a circle. This is a two and one quarter in um, smoke is late. And then have the sentiment somewhere here, right? 
Um, and then the cut, of course. So that's how I pictured this one. We'll see how that goes. Um, let me do first the cat, and then we'll go from there. So this cut is going to be very simple, or very easy, I guess. Where's my cat? Here. I'm going to go ahead and make sure I have... Oh, I think I put a lot on its tail. All right, we'll see. There we go. And then I like a white cat, you know? So for this one, I'm going to be using the, what is this color? Not that one. This one, the um, granite. Yeah, gray granite. And so when I am doing a white something, like a white cat in this case, I only outline. I don't really color it. But I like outlining it because it gives um, something, you know, like it gives some shadowing. You know, even if it's all um, white, I always like to put some black. And it's always like a light gray. You can also use, like if it were a snowman, which is all white, I usually do then pool party. In this case, because it's a cat, I thought a cat with blue would look kind of weird. So I didn't want to go that route. Um... And so for this one, I'm using the, uh, what is this color again? Gray granite. And again, you're just adding a little shadow here and there. There you go. Just to give some personality. So this makes it really easy. You just have to be Kind of mindful a little bit as to where you're putting it. So let me just show you up close. So it's really easy. You go around the face. I did the ears and then chest, a little bit on her hand. Put it always where you can see there's a fold. So in this case, um, in the chest and the arm, it feels like you might want to have some shadow there. And of course the hand uh, or the paw, I think. And then here, a little bit on the hair the back and you can see on the tail I did opposites right so um anyway so very simple then after that I'm gonna be putting and that's the other thing I like doing just putting cheeks <laughs> which I know it's crazy but I do like and that's it I'm not using too much on that just a little bit and that's about it so this one same as with the other one there is a um, uh, die cut, so you just line it up and cut it out with your Big Shot or any other die cut machine. So here we go. I already have that cut. Let me put this one back so I don't lose it. Oh my goodness, I'm really losing these things. <clears throat> and so we have our cut here. So this is where, yeah, I feel like this, because I can go either way I can go this way or that way I feel like this time I'm gonna go this way and so I'll put this one here and then that one here and then my sentiment right so and on this one same as with the other one I want to put the uh hey friend yeah I was thinking if there was another one. No, I think... I mean, you can pick any from the itty bitty. But, um, no, I like that hay frame. You can use this one if you were doing multiple cats. And let me just show you one thing. Um, and this is for... Uh, I'm actually planning to do, I guess, a car, uh, cart class with this one. Because I, I am in love with all of this. But th I have been cutting all the little cats. But I was thinking, not for this cart, but just let me show you something. So this guy looks kind of funny, right? So like that angry cat. And then see this one. This one is from one of the borders. But is that not look... This, this one doesn't look really nice if you put it like like so. Like this one is playing in the back and then this one is all annoyed. <laughs> I thought that was really cute. 
um, and then put, you can also put this one. So if you put something like that where you have three of them, then you can say something about like best wishes from all of us. I, I thought that was, I don't know. This is the little thing that get me going. But yeah, you can see, um, and also the die cut cuts exactly that, um, this one. So you have, um, dies for this one and that one. The rest is, um, uh, yeah, fussy cutting them. You just have to cut them with scissors. So <clears throat> it didn't take that long. I actually cut them all this morning, so it wasn't that bad. You just put the TV and start cutting, so I thought it was good. <laughs> um, but anyway, so let's just, oh yeah, we're gonna be doing this one. So you can be playing with the designers, and that's, like I said, I love when Stampin' Up! does that. When we have the, um, like, uh, big images, because you can use those. Oh, I did it again. Well, I can cut it. Let's just cut this one again. Um, you can, uh, yeah, you can cut them and then just put a sentiment and you're done. You don't really have to do a lot of stamping or coloring. You just cut that image and that's it. So let me just uh, go back here. There we go. <clears throat> so let's just cut that one. Same as the other one. Um, a little bit more. And then here. Let me see, where is that one? Looks good. Hmm. Oh, and you know what? On this one, we could even put the... Let me see. Do I have the stamp set here? We can even put the... <clears throat> this one. I don't know if it would... Maybe let's put the hearts. Or the butterflies, you know? For the background, we could also do a stamp. I don't know. I like the little mouse. Like the toy mouse. Well, let's see. Let's just that one. And if I don't like it, then I just flip it. How about that? You can always play with it. Mm. Yeah, that would be nice. Now let's just bring granite gray. There we go. Um, where is that one? Yeah, here we go. Oh. This one. And let's just add it like randomly, right? Hmm. I don't know, it looks weird. No, I didn't like that one. I'm gonna go with the hearts. Let's do hearts. And if not, then I can cut another piece. Um, where are the hearts? I know I had them here. Okay. Let's just clean this one. <clears throat> the hearts might be better yeah yeah I'm gonna live with that let's just add this one here yeah it looks better I'm gonna go with this one actually like so because then I have the sentiment oh, yeah, let's just do this sentiment on top yeah, what if I put sentiment here? I'm just trying to play with it. Maybe put this one here and sentiment here. Yeah, much better. I think I'm gonna go this way. <clears throat> so you can play with it and see <clears throat> what you like. Like I said, that most of the times that's all I do. I always can I see. Um, oh, and that's the other thing. You can also see. The other background. Although I think I like the letters better. Yeah, I think I'm going to go with the letters. But you can always <clears throat> uh, change the background to the other side. So, I mean, you can do this card with multiples. So you can also use one of the cats that... Um, um, from the design series paper. 
Like, I wish they had given us more of the cats and the dogs. Because they're all really cute, so. Definitely. But that's okay. That's okay. I also don't do that many. <laughs> right? So, um. I'm going to go ahead and do this. First, um. Um. Here. Oh! This one. Why not? Let's just put this one here. Oh, Yohan, you're going to love that uh, bundle. Seriously, it's really nice. And like I said, since I already cut all those, I'm I'm actually planning for a card, that, a card class. Just because I just love it. I mean, like I said, this one and the Forever Fern were like high on my favorite list. So definitely those were the first ones. And in fact, that's the next card class. I don't, I don't think I said that at the beginning. Um, I think that within the next week or so, or the next days actually, I will be uh, sending an email about the Forever Fern. I love that suite and the colors are just great. So definitely planning on a card class using that one. So if you like Forever Fern, Make sure you pay attention to my emails in the next few days. <clears throat> All right, so we're going to go ahead and put this one here. Let's see. I'll put it like that. Let's see. And at this one right here. Maybe leave it on the top. Do you have that one right there? Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so let's add this one here. Hmm. There we go. And then I'm going to be putting this one right here. Yep. And this one will be with the dimensionals. There we go. Mm -hmm. oh. I'm putting it like right here. And then this one, we're going to cut another one. Well, let's just cut this one. set that one here Oop. there we go and we could also I don't know if a bow will go on this one because of that we'll see I don't know if we don't like it then we don't put it oh yeah forever fern yeah between if you had to choose between this one and the forever fern yeah I will have go with forever fern on the first order for sure for sure, yes, definitely. So that was a good call, Michelle. Um, I mean, yeah. There you go. Let's see, do I want it? Yeah, it looks nice. Yeah, let's just add this one. There's too much white in this section, so let's just add one. Alright. So. Oh, yeah, definitely. Definitely, definitely. So where's the glue dots? I mean, you all saw me, I have them here. Oh, here, I'm like, I'm telling you, I always lose everything on my room. All right, so we're going to put it like right here. And there we have it. So, here's our cat card for all our cat lovers. <laughs> 
And then let me just show you the other two that we did because this is card number three. So here we go. So there you go. I mean, it is a fun, fun, fun suite. And I think that if you don't like cats, then you can add one of the dogs here, right? I mean, there's other dogs that you can do. Um, same as with the other one, there's uh, little ones that you can be cutting. So you can see like this guy is really nice too. <laughs> uh, I definitely like that one. And there's another one that I thought could go really well. Like I said, when I was thinking of these, um, on these, uh, here is another one that I love. I like its face. So you can change them from the design source paper with other cats or other dogs, depending on where you stand. To me, I needed to do at least one cat. <laughs> so. Anyway, thank you so much for joining me. Let me know which one is your favorite. I think to me, it's this one, just because it brings so many memories with my little jerky. So I'm gonna call this is my favorite, but I love them all. I love the color combination. So definitely all of them are really nice. So let me know in the comments, which one is your favorite. So thank you, thank you again. I'll see you next, um, next Thursday, 7 p.m. So thank you so much for being here. I really appreciate it. And I hope you have a really good rest of the week. All right. Bye for now. <laughs> Bye.